Accessibility in design is more important than ever, and as designers, a good portion of what we create is perceived through sight. So it's a good thing that both Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Color have tools to make our designs more accessible and easy to understand for people with color blindness. I'm gonna show you exactly how they work. Here in Illustrator, we have this artwork. And let's say we want to check if this is working, if this is an easy image to read for someone with color blindness. We just have to go to the view menu and under the proof setup options, we have these two options for both the protonopia and deuteranopia types of color blindness. We just have to click on the one we desire and that's it. Illustrator will automatically apply a filter on the whole document to show us how a person with that specific type of color blindness will see our artwork. It's important to know that this is just a setup of proof colors. It won't actually change the colors of our design. The moment we deactivate proof colors, all original colors will still be there. Now, with this proof color setup, we can see that the skin tone of this character is basically the same color as the bushes behind her. The best way to color correct our design using proof colors is to open a second view. Go to the window menu and click on the very first item, new window. This will open a second window for the same document, and in fact, it will already open it with the proof colors turned off. Then we can just arrange these documents by clicking on this icon on the top right corner of Illustrator. Now we can just change the colors of the original image and see the results in real time on the image with proof colors. I'm gonna change the color of the bushes since they are less important in this illustration than the skin tone and make it a little bit darker. After we're done with our color correcting, we can just close the window that has proof colors active or go to the view menu and click on proof colors to turn it off. Now we're good to go. Adobe Color also has tools for accessibility. Let's pick a color theme from the libraries and after we select it, we can see that there's an edit for accessibility option on the right side. If we click on it, it'll take us to the new accessibility tool section. The five colors of the palette are displayed here, and below them, there's a simulation of the three types of color blindness. I couldn't find exactly why Illustrator doesn't have a Tritonopia proof setup, but maybe it's just harder to simulate it on the software. Right out the bat, Adobe Color is already telling us that there is a conflict between colors A and E, indicated by this line meaning that in some of the color blindness simulations, these two colors don't have enough contrast. And down here, we can see that it is on the Tritonopia simulation. On the color wheel, we can see that these two colors are linked by a white line, meaning that they are the colors that are conflicting. When we drag the color puck, these white lines will appear, indicating areas of possible conflict between colors. Just move it around until the lines indicating the conflict on the swatches disappear and then hit save. Adobe Color also has a contrast checker, which you can select on this drop-down menu on the left. Just select two colors you'd like to test and then adjust them accordingly. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!